Dear one, when I started making art again and writing for my website here, I had to choose a name. I wanted a name to represent me differently, to remind me of the importance of owning how my posts might potentially ripple out into the world. Jainism is a religion and belief system based on self-awareness of how one's own actions might create the least amount of suffering in the world. Some Jainists gently brush the ground before taking a physical step, lest they step and harm an insect beneath their foot. I chose Becky Jane, B-E-C-K-Y-J-A-I-N-E, as my artist name and name for this website to remind myself of how word choice might be steered towards kindness and love, a private aspiration for my words and posts to be of service to something more than expression. In Jainism, there is a Sanskrit word, karuna, which means compassion and self-compassion. There are so many images of our earth in public consciousness right now. The one that might be the most harrowing is the world map showing the rapid spread of the Corona-19 cases, representing the humans suffering and dying because of it. And yet, when I see the Corona maps, I also see something else the map represents. Karuna. I see all the hearts and hands taking unprecedented, massive actions towards love and compassion. As I see the image of the map on the internet and on television, I am reminded to honor the sadness and loss of human suffering and human lives. But I also hold gratitude and love for the people who are doing things to reduce unnecessary suffering for compassion. Literally, billions of us humans are responding in kindness and love, in karuna, choosing actions, placing the needs of others ahead of individual wants, and also placing the needs of others above our own needs. Yesterday, I had the joy of a video call with the children at my church. There we were looking at each other in a completely different way, not in the youth room at our church, but now video conferencing from our homes. Yesterday, the children taught me how to turn my video upside down. So there we were, not only meeting each other in an unusual new way, but also actually looking at each other upside down, a safe physical distance from each other, together looking upside down at the world in a different way. The children got me thinking about the power of images, specifically how the COVID map might be made into a work of heart to perhaps convey a deeper message of human connection and hope. So here I am, offering an image I played with, hoping these ideas might be a blessing and perhaps to create a positive ripple in our hurting world. I took a digital image of the Karuna map, and I put hearts all over the maps, all over the world, literally, of representing all of the places where the coronavirus is to also represent what I'm calling the Karuna map, the spread of self-compassion and compassion on the map. I audio describe for anybody who may not be able to see these images. In love and karuna, I believe in you. I believe in us. Becky Jane with an I, Suzik. <laughs>